Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre, and today topic is work area in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Application. Okay, work area. So what is work area? Work area is a specific region in the manufacturing plant where you execute production activities. Okay, so the work area is a physical, geographical, or we can say that the uh, logical grouping of the work center. Okay, it is the logical grouping of the work center. Okay, now as a manufacturing engineer, you must define at least one work area for a manufacturing plant and at least one work center for each work area. Okay, so under the work center, you have to define the resources like assembly line, packaging line some technician like labor okay now under the resources uh, here resources in our assembly line resources now under the resources you have to define resource instances okay resource instances like assembly line one assembly line two if you have multiple multiple assembly line then you have to def define your multiple assembly line <coughs> okay now under the resources you have to define resources instance like in assembly if you have multiple assembly line then you have to define multiple assembly line in the resources instances if you have multiple packaging line then you have to define your multiple packaging line in resource instances okay same in case of uh, technician or labor okay in case of labor you can define resource instance of labor in form of uh, semi skilled labor or uh, skilled labor unskilled labor okay so in this way you can define the uh, resources instances okay so as you seen over here work area is associated with manufacturing plant and the work center so before creating the work area we have to must specify and manufacturing plant in our application okay now let's go to our instance and uh, create uh, and define the work area okay okay so before defining the work area first we have to create an uh, manufacturing plant yeah yeah manufacturing plant first we have to create manufacturing plant in our application and in at the manufacturing plant we have to define our work area okay so before we start to work on work area and manufacturing plant first we have to add a role add role to particular user user that is casey brown you scroll it down just click on tools click on security console okay first we have to add the roles okay so manufacturing roles like okay first search with the user that is casey brown click on the username casey brown okay click on add it just click on add role first role that is manufacturing engineer just click on manufacturing engineer ora based role click on manufacturing engineer just click on add role to membership now select the role production supervisor and the production operator let's search for the production operator select the role production operator just click on add role to membership at the last production supervisor yeah just click on the production supervisor role click on add role to membership just click on done okay so in this way you can add role manufacturing role to particular user just click on save and close now we have to give data access to these roles just click on done okay click on setting an action click on setup and maintenance and give data access to these manufacturing roles okay 
click on task list manage implementation project search for our project that is scm release 13 click on scm project for release 13 okay yeah search the task name is manage data access for use manage data access for user so select the row manage data access for user manufacturing and supply chain material management based path click on go to task icon okay okay just click on add username that is kc brown kc dot brown okay role first role that is manufacturing engineer okay security context that is manufacturing plant okay and security context value now select our inventory organization or manufacturing organization let's say 001 is our manufacturing organization okay just click on add row user that is kc brown role that is production supervisor and production manager sorry production operator and pro production supervisors was like production operator security context manufacturing plant security context value double zero one and click on add row again select the user now production production supervisor select the role production supervisor okay security context that is that is manufacturing plant and security context value that is double zero one okay just click on save and close okay click on done now we have to run an ldap job ess job okay just click on done okay click on navigator scroll it down and tools we have scheduled processes just click on schedule processes okay schedule new process run ldap job okay search for ldap click on enter okay retrieve latest ldap changes just click on okay click on ok and submit just click on submit icon so okay so yeah click on refresh okay retrieve latest ldap changes status that is running click on refresh icon again 3986 is our process still running 3986 okay scroll it down yeah process is still running okay no issues okay now we have to create a manufacturing plant in our application just click on setup and maintenance okay okay click on our project search for our project that is scm click on search yeah, select our project and search the task name as manage plant parameter okay click on enter manage plant parameter key okay. select the row and just click on go to task icon so in this way you can define the your plant parameters in your application first we have to change the organization manufacturing organization that is double zero one just click on ok ok now first 
we have to define manufacturing calendar in, in our inventory application as you already seen how to create a calendar in, in our application same process in uh, manufacturing cloud as well okay right now we are selecting as a ca night shift box okay starts monday okay okay ca night shift starts monday okay after selecting our manufacturing calendar we have to define the material okay in material default supply sub inventory and another one is default completion sub inventory okay so default supply sub inventory that it stores what it means so sub default supply sub inventory means our uh, raw materials like uh, raw material sub inventory like uh, if you have a uh, raw material in form of like uh, nut and bolts grease and many more things many more items so that is our supply supply item and next one is the default completion sub inventory it is nothing but our finished good sub inventory okay so finished good sub inventory is completed and default supply sub supply sub inventory that is stores okay so in this way you can define your plant parameters just click on work definition here we have option to define work definitions or manage production okay so right now for uh, our work area we have to define some basic parameters some mandatory parameters okay like supply sub inventory completion sub inventory manufacturing calendars okay so if you want to enable synchronization to uh, internet of thing production monitoring so for that if you want to connect your application with iot just in enable the that checkbox okay so right now we are not enabling that okay okay here another checkbox that is enable process manufacturing your manufacturing plant for process manufacturing just enable the that checkbox okay right now we are not enabling that okay just click on save and close so after defining the plant parameter select the row manage work area okay uh, okay as you see here uh, yeah after defining the manufacturing plant parameters we have to define work areas okay now select the row just click on go to task icon okay click on uh, add okay okay here we have to define the our work area yeah work area let's say tata work area one okay copy the code copy the name code same as that of okay inactive on or description okay all the details are over here just click on scroll down save in create another create another work area that is data work area 2 okay yeah just click on save and close okay so this is our work areas just click on work area yeah so in this way you can define your work area in our manufacturing application okay just click on done okay okay yeah okay now in upcoming session we will see how to create uh, work centers and uh, how to create resources uh, or resources in form of uh, a raw material packing line some labor is labor resources okay and how to create from resources instances and multiple packing line if you want to create multiple packing line how to create that particular multiple packing line in our manufacturing application okay okay so this is all about the work area thank you for watching the video thank you so much